Hello again. Hello again. Um, congratulations on the award. Some very nice words um, by Stanley uh, about you. Um, can you tell us a bit about how it was hearing those amazing words? Well, it was somewhat overwhelming, actually. And um, uh, time has passed so quickly since we first met. He said it's half a decade, and I, I suppose it is. Um, but it feels like two seconds and a lifetime at the same time, which is uh, a tribute to the warmth of his personality. Does, does it feel like that about your whole career as well? Like it's, it's gone by so quickly? Oh, abs absolutely. And it, it hasn't gone by yet, by the way. No, this of course not. It's not a lifetime achievement award or anything like that. I think I would be depressed if it was that. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to keep on working and filming and telling stories. That's what I want to do. And can you tell us about some of the big changes from when you did first start? Like, is it easier now for, for you in the industry or is. No, I don't think so. Um, I do think it's changing all the time and um, I don't think anymore that you know the US is necessarily the only center of, of, of filmmaking of excellence or whatever you want to call it you know I think I think uh, and hope that more movies will be made in Britain and Europe. I mean, we have, as we know already, wonderful technicians here. Of course, we've got great actors, but then you can go anywhere to do that. Um, and we're going to have even better studios, I think. Um, we shot Bell on the Isle of Man, and the Isle of Man is um, going to be doing a lot more, I think, because of its um, um, shareholding in uh, Pinewood. And so I look forward to, to that, and hopefully being part of a new canon of filmmaking. I would really love that. Sure, and you mentioned, finally, um, you mentioned about the lack of female fi filmmakers in the industry. What do you think can be done to encourage more? Um, I, I don't know what to say because I, I think it's down, down to the individuals. There are people with vision out there, but I mean, for example, the wonderful uh, uh, Elaine Constantine, you know, had to remortgage her house to get to get, I think, more funding, not specific, not, not woman-specific funding, I'm not talking about that, but more funding, which is consistent uh, from sources, who knows where. I mean, we're, we're in a parlous enough state. And <clears throat> I, I often think back to the first time a man was put on the moon, and that, was, that cost $5 million. And now you can barely, you know, barely make a movie for $5 million dollars and it's all gone crazy but there is there is a, a midpoint you don't have to spend 800 million dollars on something you know you can spend 10 or 20 or something like that and make something wonderful I don't know what the budget was on whiplash I'm sure we'll all know very soon what that was but I think the shoot was in incredibly quick and obviously that's not ideal but it can it can be done and it's uh, it's an amazing film so anyway i'm hopeful <laughs> excellent thank you thank you very much pleasure to speak to you ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is that yeah. from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey, hey.